Hi there, today I will go over the third set of matter vocabulary terms for this unit. Physical properties are properties that are observable and measurable without changing the substance um, into another substance. So I have an example of an apple and immediately I can tell that this apple is red, it's round when I rub my hand across it, it has a smooth texture. If I bite it, it has a sweet taste. If I wanted to measure it um, or measure its density, I would calculate the mass divided by the volume. And as an example here, I put 0 0.75 grams per cubic centimeters. Other physical properties can include uh, conductivity, uh, is the object malleable? Uh, is it flexible? Uh, is it a solid, liquid, or gas? So these are just some of the other ways that you can describe an object based on its physical properties. A physical change is only a change in the substance shape or form. However, you will not see a change in the identity of the substance. So here, if we slice the apple, we still have an apple, okay? Other examples of physical changes include flattening an object, uh, ripping or tearing, adding color, bending, crushing. So we can do all of these things to affect the shape or form, but we're not changing the actual composition of the substance. Chemical properties are different from physical properties. With physical properties, we look at things that are easily observable and measurable. With chemical properties, we're looking at the ability of that object to change into something. Uh, when I say the ability, it means that it has not occurred yet. We just know that this can happen. So if I want to eat you know, an apple, I'm going to cut it and eat it immediately because I know that if I cut it and leave it on the counter for a little bit, it's going to be exposed to the oxygen that is surrounding the area and it's going to brown as a result of that. So I know that it has the ability to do that and as a result, I won't cut my apple until I'm ready to eat it. Now, there are other types of chemical properties. Some substances have the ability to burn. We know that. We know paper has the ability to burn, although we're not burning paper immediately. Um, some matter has the ability to tarnish. Some matter has the ability to rust. And other substances have the ability to react with metals. And at the same token, a chemical property would be that it may not be able to react with other metals, or it may not um, be a substance that can burn. So chemical properties are those things that we know can occur that can turn into a new substance, but we don't see it immediately. A chemical change is different from a physical change because a physical change just changes the shape or the form. A chemical change means that we have a new substance altogether. Another name for a chemical change is also called a chemical reaction. So uh, if we look at the apple again, when we see the brown, we know that the apple has reacted with the oxygen in the environment, and as a result, we have oxidation that has occurred. Uh, another example of chemical change is when we see um, iron turn into rust. We can't turn the rust back into the iron, okay? Uh, we have tarnishing and we have flint, uh, when something is actually burning. We have um, other examples of precipitate when you take two liquids, mix them together, and they form a solid. So uh, these are examples of chemical changes and how they're different from physical changes. Okay, so this concludes our review of the third set of terms for the matter unit. Bye now.